It started as a 911 call for a choking child. Now a 20 year old airman is facing charges. Universal City Police say it was the first time the new father was alone with his two month old. The 19's Patty Santos explains what doctors found and resources for first time parents. A two month old not breathing, possibly choking on milk. One of the EMS personnel began immediately conducting um, chest compressions. That's the call that brought Universal City Police to this apartment complex Saturday. A second officer who also has a medical experience showed up and he assisted as well and they were able to resuscitate the child. Sergeant Christopher Rosales says hospital staff found signs of shaken baby syndrome, which can cause brain injuries, even death. It was found that he had multiple bleeds in his brain, one on the frontal lobe, one on the left side, uh, left side of the brain, and then on the right side of the brain as well. Investigators say there was signs of bruising on the child's head and face. Police issued a warrant for the child's father, 20-year-old Eric Espinoza Resendez. The airman turned himself in to UCPD Wednesday night. The defendant advised that he, on Thursday, that he had dropped the cell phone on the child's face and caused swelling of his lip, of his upper lip and redness as well. The doctors confirmed that that was not consistent with the injuries that he had. Rosales says it was the father's first week alone with the child. Parenting can be difficult for some families. Metro Health offers the Triple Peace program, free classes for families and caretakers in all stages of parenting. So we want to acknowledge that parenting can be tough and sometimes there's times where we're not sure what to do. Um, but that's where, you know, parenting education can be a great tool. Child advocates strongly urge families to come up with a plan to deal with parenting stress, walk away or ask someone for help. One of the core principles of Triple P is taking care of yourself as a parent. And at last check, that child was still in critical condition, but was breathing on his own. And if you're a parent and you know you need some extra support, we have links of programs that are available here in our community on KSAT.com. Steve, Stephania.